Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Adrienne Pinkney, the Integrative Wellness and Life Coach with Be Well, Live Consciously. Before I get into any of these good things I'm dropping today, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and ding that bell so that you will hear all the good news that Be Well is bringing. So today, discuss why people do things out of emotion. So check out last week's video when I did um, about how everything is about Everything that we do, we do because of how we feel. So why do we do things out of emotion? Whew. First of all, let's say feelings, something that you all should know about feelings. In a matter of a day, we probably feel about 100 things. I woke up this morning, I felt blessed, I got out of bed, I was cold. Then I came downstairs and I saw that I needed to make more fresh juice this morning and I felt overwhelmed. Feelings come and go. Then my sweetheart came down and gave me a kiss and I felt loved and sexy and appreciated. And then the next second and the next second and the next second and the next second. So feelings come and they flow and they come and they go. You have never spent an entire day so mad you can't see straight. You can't. You literally can't. Your body will not retain the level of anger Um that you might feel when you're enraged. You can't stay there all day. It also cannot maintain the level of excitement that you might feel when you're really excited about something. I mean, you might be so excited um, because the greatest thing happened, but then after that, you go back. You go back to feeling the next thing. <laughs> so with all of that said, when you understand that about feelings, when we make decisions, big choices based off of how we feel, we can often go awry. For example, have you ever been really, really mad and then you sent a text or you said something and on the other side of that, you're not really mad and then you regret sending it? Yeah. Or have you ever felt really guilty because someone needed something? Guilt feeling. Have you ever felt really guilty because someone needed something and then you gave them your last $5 or you gave them your last and then you feel regret or you feel stressed because you need something for yourself? All of that is about feelings and feelings pass. So when you understand that, that everything that we do is about how we feel, you are able to manage yourself through difficult feelings. So for example, I had to learn how to listen to people who are experiencing certain problems. Maybe somebody is talking to me about how stressed she is because she needs $10 and I have $10 in my back pocket and I feel... Um, guilty because I have what she needs and I feel uh, panicked or I feel called to be a servant or however um, listening to someone else's story might make me feel right the thing is I have to make a decision for myself so that after the decision is made I still feel good about me if I give her my last ten dollars I might feel stressed guilty whatever on the other side of that decision if I give her five of my $10, I might feel, because um, everything we do is about how we feel about us, I might feel nice, I might feel like servant, I might feel um, necessary, I might feel godly, which is a great way to feel. And I can also make a decision not to give her any of my money <laughs> and feel good about it because I go and put my $10 in the bank or because... That was an exercise for me in not rescuing, saving, or solving other people's problems. Which could feel really damn good if that's the work that I need to do. So with all of that being said, making decisions off of how we feel sometimes isn't our best decision-making strategy. Feelings pass. Feelings come and feelings go. When we are making decisions based on feelings, it should usually be made because we repeatedly feel something in a relationship. In a relationship, I repeatedly feel undervalued. I repeatedly feel disrespected. I repeatedly feel overlooked. That would mean that I might need to end that relationship. But if I'm in a relationship and I feel overlooked for a second because he forgot to bring back my favorite snack, well, that's not necessarily a reason to end a relationship because that feeling's going to pass when the next time he goes to the store and he brings something I really enjoy. So with all of that said, and this is a quick, quick video about a very big concept, 
Um, be careful when you are making decisions based on how you feel, especially if you have a historical feeling that you know that you are uncomfortable with. For many of us, loneliness might be a trigger or um, we don't like to feel angry. So that's a trigger for us. Or we don't want to feel selfish. So we give all of our stuff away. Or we don't want to feel um, excluded. So we stay in community with people that might not be in our best interest. All of those things are about feelings and all feelings are temporary. So the question is, can you stand it? Can you stand the feeling? Some people are afraid to feel love. Some people are afraid to get too excited because they know that they have to come down. And if I go too high, I might crash too low. And that's really, really scary for them. But embrace it, knowing that you can go as high as the sky and you can go to the depths of yourself and that you don't have to stay in any of those places. Once you have the tools on how to get yourself out or how to get yourself through, especially with difficult emotions, you can trust yourself to walk into any of them. So with that, I encourage you to continue to love on yourself, be radically honest, be healthy, be loved, be love, uh, be kind, be gracious, be boundaried, be all of those things, and most importantly, be well. Oh, subscribe, like, ding the bell. Be well.